Well, hello there, YouTube. My name is Gawats, and today we are taking a look at my highest damage game ever as of today. And this was, of course, a round in Grille because whatever tank would it be, and on one of the most heavy maps. So don't expect any insanely um, like intense gameplay in this battle, even though there was some pretty tactical moments, there wasn't anything that intense. And we get spotted here which is fucking annoying. But this is my highest damage and it is actually significantly higher than my second highest damage ever. So I was really happy that I managed to take down this round. And um, yeah, we start out by putting a nice shell into the side of the ST1. I bet he will be able to feel that one tomorrow. And we get spotted again. And right now I'm thinking it's probably the IU-251 who's spotting me from the middle within a bush. But um, that was actually not the case. And another... That, that shot was just lucky. It didn't seem like I had a clear shot on him, like he was going down into the uh, embankment down there. But the shot looped into the back of his tank, I believe. And pinned him for 705 more damage. So I'll definitely take it. A straight 1500 damage to start out the battle. That is, that's not too bad. It's not too long ago that I actually got my Grilly. Um, I have had this tank for a couple of months now and I have played it for like a little less than 100 battles and I I like it I mean it is a campy tank of course it is it has no armor and insane gun and it is just at this is exactly what it's built for so no big surprise there and I do have really high average damage at least for me in this tank like 3200 or something and um, yeah that I, I like the tank it's not my preferred um, play style but it's definitely a really strong tank. I also have two three other tier 10 tank destroyers and out of those the one I like the most is probably the Optic 263. I just earlier today I managed to get my second class mastery badge on that tank and uh, also really happy about that. Had a lot of uh, 6k, 7k plus games in that thing. Oh, when we put the Centurion on fire, unfortunately he puts out the fire with 24 health left. Like that kill, but um, not today. And right now we are up to about 4000 damage. Because we only... Yeah, and another 710 into that guy. And we get spotted. And we get some spotting damage on the T44-100. Which is nice, trying to get a shot on this Centurion 7-1, but can't really find it. We don't really have a shot on the... at least not a reliable shot on the E5. Maybe that one actually went in, possibly. Um, actually, I think it did, because at the result screen I'd done one shot more of damage than I actually was able to see within the game, so I believe that was actually the shot that hit blind. And we put a shot into the BK, and he gets his tank completely obliterated by the Yakpans of E100. So that's an entire, entire 8 heavy tank gone in a second, basically. Another nice shot into the back of the Leop Leopard uh, prototype. And again, we have been spotted. We are now up to 6k damage, and an E75 decides to take my armor rack and at this point I was like come on man I was about to have my highest damage game ever and then you fucking armor rack me and then I realized you know what I can actually still do this and we are not losing as much as we were earlier because at some point this battle was like 3-7 or at least 3-6 and now it's 8-9 and we can still win this we have me and the Yakpans are still on tier 10 tanks and we are actually gonna make a pretty good duo at the end of the game and the enemy IO251 has made his last mistake. And I know I'm probably gonna get shot by the E75 again when I go up here, but I have to take out this guy because a light tank, even a guy with that kind.
kind of HE shells will be able to completely annihilate my tank. So I don't want him being running around when I can kill him like that. And I also know the general direction of that E75, but I can't really hide from him here. And we are really lucky to pound a shell from him right there. That shell could easily be killed me. But, I mean, for every great game, there has to be some luck, right? And I guess there was it in this battle. <laughs> and now the E75 has been spotted, we go forward so we can actually see him. And the uh, I see the Akbanzer of E100 has missed, so that means I can take my time and put a nice shell right into the side of this tank. There's also an enemy capping, um, and I was thinking that it maybe be the um, E50M or the T44-100, but I think it's more likely to be the T44-100 as he's closer to the cap and the medium tank has just been spotted on the other side of the, uh, of the map, so it has to be the T44-100. And if he was right here, I would be able to go in and take a shot. I take a blind fire at the T57 Heavy, it definitely missed. And we are still managing to hold out here. We have a couple of... We actually... Everybody on our team is pretty healthy. Um, we have enough health to at least take a shot each. I can't take a shot from like the enemy tank destroyer or a HE shell from anyone really but I will be able to take a shot from a T57 heavy like 60% of the time and I put oh a nasty shot into the back of the T110 E4 then and he gets taken out by the leopard prototype and now we are over 8k damage and at this point I was like alright if one of my blind shots has hit this is my highest damage game ever Now I want to, I tell this Jack Panzer P100 to follow me because I don't want to go around this corner and run right into two enemy tanks. So I want him with me as we engage the cap circle because, I mean, this is a pretty important round for me. So I want to stay alive, but also still win, of course. And there's lots of time slip left in this battle. Even though we have been camping and been pretty conservative in this battle, there's still seven minutes left and that's enough time for us to just take it easy and get shit done and I don't want to go over the edge and try and kill this E50M right now that would be really stupid as they have an T57 heavy in the distance ready to kill me and there's another guy in the cap because now we know there's two people within there and the E50M just went in so it has to be the T44-100 so I know he must be right here go around the corner and blast him and now he's dead and I see my V-Set and my Jagdpanzer of E100 is going in to kill this E50M, which is definitely the right thing to do in this situation. They have to go in there and take him out with his 69 remaining health, just for the memes, I guess. And now there's only an enemy AMX 1390 left and a T57 Heavy, who is on 4 kills. And I also tell my team in chat that I have 8k plus damage, even though I've only managed to pick up 2 kills. And I believe this Jagdpanzer V100 has picked up a healthy amount of damage as well, as I've seen him put some pretty nasty shells into the enemy tanks. So, between us, we're probably taking out like at least 33 to maybe, I think, 40% of the enemy hit points. And we're gonna take out the rest too, so don't worry about that. And right now, I don't really want to leave the like the cover I have here, together with the Jagdpanzer of E100, but I also want to be in a position to be able to fire if the VZ-131 were to spot the enemy ta tanks. And right now I was thinking the AMX-1390 might be trying to um, engage us from the back over here, where we might not be able to like see him coming, where we wouldn't expect him to be coming from, but um, he, do he doesn't. And our light tank managed to spot the T57 Heavy, and knowing that he is still there is a really big deal. I of course used my 
repair pack earlier to fix my gun when it was damaged by the E75 I believe. No, that was my armor rack. My gun was damaged by someone else. But um, that means I haven't been able to repair my armor rack. So I still have to wait like 27 seconds for my gun to reload, but that has really been a problem. And this guy hadn't seen me and I was like, alright, now take your time, auto aim and kill this bastard. Oh, there you go. It looked a little weird, but um, I was actually kind of surprised that that shot hit. But when you are auto aimed at like 20 meters distance by a Grill A15 with his very hot, uh, very fast traveling shells, you're gonna die. So, yeah. And right now, you see down on the minimap, I keep the T57 Heavy's last known position between my view range and the maximum view range because from this distance I know he won't be able to spot me so I'm just trying to stay without his uh, outside his view range and still like always be in a position where I can shoot and he kills my light tank and I really want to get the last shot on this guy I'm up to 9k damage at this point or Jagdpanzer is, is uh, and I want to get a shot into this guy because there's no way he's gonna know that I'm over here right now. And I managed to spot him and the Jagdpanzer B100 unfortunately takes him out before I can do anything. And as we can see that was a pretty nice match. We managed to only get a first class master in bench because people aren't playing really good in this tank. I have managed to get my master tank in ace in this tank before so that's not really a big deal we managed to get the, the first class master match a bunch of stickers the tank sniper uh, what a coincidence a high caliber um, a defender and a confederate and um, it's not surprising to get a high caliber when you hit this many shots in a game with a grille and do 9700 damage and this has actually beaten my old record in the object 261 on Ensk with over 1000 damage so I'm really happy I would have liked to get a shot into that T57 heavy at the end and got my first 10k plus round but I'm pretty satisfied with this we managed to get 10,000 what the fuck am I talking about 1077 base XP and end the top on our team we did manage to get um, more than three kills, which is pretty annoying, taking into account that the last mission for the TDs you have to do over 8k damage and get over five kills um, for the triumph. And I kind of need the triumph because I, I I can't do all the mission with light tanks because they depend too much on the team. So I'm I'm gonna have to do this mission again and get five kills with it. But just this is the first round ever that I've gotten. 8k plus damage in a tank destroyer so I'm I'm really happy and um, that's basically it I hope you enjoyed the video that there wasn't too much camping and I'll see you next time bye bye Peace.